Uh, hey everybody, this is uh, December the 19th, 2021, um, and I'm in my den. Um, I've got some uh, diffusers going, and I've got some Christmas essential oils in them, and I've got a, a pomegranate granite candle burning. Um, I'm trying to get myself in the Christmas spirit, in spite of what's been going on with me. Um... Uh, what I want to talk about in this video is um, how to protect the one that's sick inside your home. Now, if you don't have anybody inside your home that's sick, then you consider yourself blessed. That's wonderful. Um, but for a lot of people, they can't say that. They can't. They can't say that no one is sick and inside their home. And for most of the people across the world, um, there is at least one person inside every household that is fallen sick. Okay. It's for most, not, not everybody, but eventually it, they will get around to everybody because they're not targeting everybody as hard. But um in most cases, there's at least one person in each household that is sick or is um, having, if they, they may not be really sick, but they might be having some issues. They might be having some like, you know, some bad, uh, or starting to get sick, like um, they might start having some um, bad headaches. They might start having severe allergies. They might start having pain in their body somewhere that's unexplainable. They might start having heart palpitations or chest pains. They might start having um, just uh, cognitive dysfunction in their brain. They might start having um, seizures. They might start having, you know, just, I mean, things, bizarre things just may start happening to uh, people inside your household. Now, most of the time, from what I've observed, they only hit like one person at a time in a household. I've seen this. I've seen this in my case, and I've seen it in other cases. Um, so usually, it, there's only going to be one person in a household that's being that's being hit or targeted. And I, they do that, I think, because they don't, you know, if they just hit everybody, then it's going to look too suspicious. So they just take out one person at a time inside your home. Now, this is what happened. I say this from experience because this is what happened with me. My stepdad got sick first. He had the uh, upper, upper respiratory symptoms, the breathing problems and the heart problems. He got sick first and died. And then my mother she started, uh, it was a couple of years after he died, and she started having the, the same symptoms that he had. And she started getting the, the, uh, the breathing problems, you know, the, the, what they call the COPD, which I don't think was ever COPD. It was just the frequencies hitting her. Uh, but then they, after my stepfather died, then they started hitting my mother. And then after my mother died, then they started hitting me uh, a couple of years later. So uh, they wait a while, you know, they'll wait a while. After the after one dies, and then they move on to the next. In my brother's case, they hit my brother in his home. Uh, it was just him and his son that lived there. They hit him, and now and now, um, I mean, his son. As far as I know, his son's doing okay right now, but I don't get to talk to him that much because he's like not home much. But anyway, in most cases, they hit just one person at a time with these frequencies. Now they go they know how to zero in on a person's space and hit their just them, okay? Like if you can have a whole house full of people maybe even in the same room and they know how to zero in on the target that they are targeting and they can hit their personal space like they'll zero in on them in their recliner or whether they're on the couch whether they're in their bedroom, wherever they are, they've got at least one person tagged in the household, and they're going to hit that person and make them sick. 
with the microwaves, with the frequencies, with the chemicals. They're gonna that's what that's what they do. And they keep hitting that person and hitting that person until that person dies and then they move on to the next one. Okay? This is what I have experienced. I've seen it happen in my family and I'm seeing it happen in other people's families. Um so what they use is they use the, the smart meters because they they uh they run the uh they shoot the uh their microwave pulses through the smart meters which which is attached to your your pole outside and then it runs through the wiring inside your home and it comes out through your electronics okay it makes you sick uh now it doesn't just come out through the electronics it's also coming out through the electrical outlets and the light fixture everything in your home that's electric can be used as a weapon uh so and then the chemicals, they're also shooting the chemicals through the, the electrical wiring. Um, and like I said, they're usually they're going to target one person's specific space, which means one person in your household is going to be having all of these strange and bizarre, crazy symptoms. And the uh, rest of the people in the household are not going to be experiencing it, okay? And they're going to be looking at this person like, what is the matter with him? What is the matter with her? Well, I don't understand, you know, why you know, we're not having any of these problems. It's just him or it's just her. And which is exactly what happened with my brother and my mom and my stepdad. I mean, it, just one person at a time got sick. And nobody could figure out what was going on at the time. Nobody knew. It was just bizarre things. They were falling sick with bizarre things happening to them. So, uh, so we know how they're doing it. We know how they're doing it. We know that they're hitting just usually one person in a household. Now, that doesn't mean they can't hit another, uh, other people in the household. They can. And I think sometimes if a person's real close to you, they may get hit with the chemicals or the or the microwaves if you're sitting real close to them. Uh, but I think they mainly targeting just one person at a time. So we know how they're doing it. We know what they're doing it with. We know what they're using. They're using electrical system inside the homes. So what I want to talk about real quick is how to protect the sick person inside your home. Okay. Now, of course, you know, you can use this to protect everybody inside the home, but it's the person that's sick is the one that's usually being targeted. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a Faraday cage around that person. Any way you can to protect them from their microwave frequencies and the radiation. Okay. If you can turn their bedroom or, or the, take the room that they stay in the most, turn it into a Faraday cage. You cover the windows, cover the windows in their bedroom or whatever room they're in uh, with um with sheet metal or bubble foil or some kind of reflective material. You can also use that um, that uh, um, insulated board that you can get, you know, at Lowe's. It's got, the, uh, it's got the aluminum on the outside. You can use that and put that over your windows. The first thing you want to do is cover the windows in the person's room. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to turn off the power in that room. You want to turn the breaker off in that room, okay? Turn the breaker off to the whole room, and you'll have to run extension cords from another room in the house into that room so that person can have their lights and their, their heater and their TV or whatever they need uh, to run it. But you want to turn the main breaker off to that room. Now, yes, they can still shoot you. They can still shoot their microwaves through the wires, even with your power off, but it's not as, it's not as bad as it, as it is with that power on. Okay, so I mean, turning the breaker off in the bedroom reduces the effects of the microwaves uh, a lot, by a lot. So, cover the windows in the bedroom, turn the power off in the room, and run extension cords for whatever you need, okay? And then you want to make sure that the person has... Uh, protective covering for their bodies. You want to make sure that they have earplugs for their ears because they're going to hit your ears. They're going to hit your head. You're going to need earplugs with some kind of metal on the outside or aluminum tape on the outside. You're going to want, you're going to need a hat. 
You're going to need some kind of hat to protect their brain because they hit your brain. Okay, so you're going to want a hat. You're going to need a hat with something in it, some kind of reflective material inside the hat, like aluminum foil or some kind of soft metal inside the hat to protect the brain. And also, if they're if they're if they're in a lot of pain, if they have a lot of pain in their body, uh, it's a possibility they could be getting hit underneath their mattress at night while they're sleeping. So if they have pain in their body, especially in your back or your lower back, your kidneys, uh, anywhere in your body, if you're having any pain, it's most likely that they're being hit with the microwave lasers at night while they're sleeping. So you want to get a piece of sheet metal to put on top of their mattress. Now, don't put it between the mattress. It won't work. Put the sheet metal on top of the mattress and they'll need to sleep on the sheet metal, okay? Or you can put uh, some kind of reflective material on top of the sheet metal. Make sure you don't put another mattress on top of the sheet metal because they can go right under that. They can bypass the sheet metal and go under the mattress. But you can put something like bubble foil over the sheet metal, which will make it more comfortable for you to sleep on. Okay, so let me see if I let me see if I've covered everything. I say you create a Faraday cage in the room, cover the windows. Uh, cover the head, cover the ears, uh, protect the back and the chest. Oh, yeah, and if you're having any chest pains, if the person that's sick is having any chest pains, then they're most likely being hit in the chest with the lasers. You're going to want to put some kind of metal vest over. If you've got a metal vest, put it on them, put it over their chest. If you don't have a metal vest, you can make one, uh, you can make a uh, you can make a vest out of the bubble foil. I just took a big sheet of bubble foil, cut a hole in it, stuck it over my head, and tied it around my waist, and use that for a vest to protect my chest, protect my heart. Okay, you can do that. What else? Oh, yeah, you're going to want to cover your uh, electrical outlets inside your bedroom because your electrical outlets is where... Most, a majority of the radiation or the microwaves are being shot through electrical outlets, your light fixtures and things like that. So anything electric, you're going to want to cover up or remove. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, I use an electric heater, but um, I'm sure there's, you know, there's microwaves coming through that somehow, but I don't think it's um, as bad as it would be, you know, if I just had the all, you know, had everything plugged into the outlets, or if I had all the outlets on in the room. So I'm trying to think, and make sure I've covered everything. You've got the uh, uh, the windows, the windows covered. The uh, the bed, your head, your chest, your ears, and um, let's see. I think there's something I'm missing that I just can't remember right now. But anyway, uh, these are the first. These are the first basic, just a basic step that you can take to protect someone in your home that's sick. Okay, uh, and also you'll want to maybe uh, use some diffusers in the bedroom. Uh, to make sure that you purify the air, unless you have an air purifier, you can run an air purifier in the room to uh, to clean the air of the microwaves, you know, and the chemicals. Um, there's there's really there's, there's all kind of things you can do really to protect yourself, but just uh, knowing that uh, this is happening. Just to having the awareness of what's happening to us, okay, is going to help out a lot because knowing what's going on puts you in a position where you can take steps to do more to protect yourself than not knowing. Like if, like, like if you don't know what's going on, which was the case with my brother and my mother and my we didn't know what was going on. But if we'd have known then what was really going on with the electrical system and with the smart meters. With their microwaves, with the if we'd have really known, we could have done more to protect them. Okay, that's why I'm making this video to tell you how to protect the person in your home that's sick. Okay. Now I'm sure there's probably some stuff that I've missed. 
Um, um, but that's the basic stuff. That's the basic things that you would do to protect the person in your home that's sick. Okay. So start with that and go with that. And remember, uh, if your chest is hurting, they're hitting you in the chest. If your if your back's hurting, they're hitting you in the back. If your head is if your head's hurting, you got headaches and you got you're having strokes and you're having seizures, you're having brain aneurysms, or if you're just having uh, cognitive difficulties, you can't remember nothing or you can't you can't figure things out anymore. You seem like you're just getting Alzheimer's. They're hitting your head. They're hitting your head. You've got to protect your head. You got to protect everything, folks. It's common sense, you know. Once you think about it, it's just using common sense. So, if your body, anywhere on your body, if it's hurting, they're hitting you. They're hitting you. If your arm goes to sleep right in the middle of the daytime, they're hitting your arm. If your leg goes to sleep, they're hitting your leg. Protect your legs. Protect your arms. Oh, yeah, and you can get the, one of those uh, heavy, um, heated, not, not heated, but um, uh, weighted blankets. You can get those weighted blankets from Walmart. You can put that over your legs at night. And that will help a lot with the microwaves if they're heating your legs. Um, but also covering your windows, making sure your windows are covered will help a lot because a lot of the microwaves come from the cell towers to the windows. So, yeah, this is um, uh, this is important. Okay, this is very important. So. I'm going to wrap it up for now, and I may have forgot about some stuff, and if I did, I'll try to pick it up in the next video, but for right now, that's that's all I wanted to talk about today. Everybody stay safe and protect your loved ones. Protect your kids. Protect your family. Protect yourself. I love you guys. Bye.